Breakeven analysis is an essential financial decision-making tool, helping business owners and future entrepreneurs to predict how quickly, if at all, their potential business venture or product launch will be. This video shows you how to calculate the breakeven point and the key factors businesses should consider when making those investment decisions. One way to look at breakeven analysis is it being a financial decision making tool, which businesses use to forecast the potential profitability and risks associated with a business startup or new product range. Businesses can use a breakeven formula to calculate the amount of units which are required for their sales revenue to equal their total costs. This is known as the breakeven point. The point at which the business is not making a profit nor is it making a loss. If the business forecasts their sales revenue to be higher than their total costs, then the business is making a profit. However, if the sales revenue forecast is lower than the total cost, the business is predicting to make a loss. So we're now going to move on to the concept of contribution, which is a very important financial concept in business and essential to calculate the break-even point. It essentially looks at the profit made on individual products and shows the business how much each unit contributes towards costs initially and profit in the long term. It relies on two essential elements. These are the selling price per unit and the variable cost per unit. Once you have identified these two figures, you can use a contribution per unit formula, which is selling price per unit less the variable cost per unit to calculate the contribution per unit. Let's have a go at an example. So here you were given information that the selling price per unit is £10 and the variable cost per unit are just £2. Therefore, using the contribution per unit formula, we will calculate the selling price of £10 less the variable cost of £2 giving us a contribution per unit of £8. This is a crucial figure for our break-even calculation, one that we're going to look at completing next. So now we're going to look at the break-even formula and work through an example. The break-even formula is on the screen now. To calculate the break-even point, you need two key components. These are the fixed costs and you also need the contribution per unit. Once you have these two factors, you simply divide your fixed costs by the contribution per unit. Let's have a look at how this works in practice. So, there's a scenario on your screen. Kenneth and Hilda are planning to start a t-shirt business and they want to know how many they will have to sell to break even. The information you are given is they have fixed costs of £200. Their variable costs are £2 per t-shirt. They are going to produce 80 t-shirts and the selling price will be £10. First of all, we need to calculate the contribution per unit, which as we now know, is the selling price per unit less the variable cost per unit. So in this case, it will be £10 selling price minus a £2 variable cost, giving a contribution per unit of £8, which in this case is £8 per t-shirt, as that's the products that the company is deciding to sell. Now we have this information, we can calculate the break-even point. The fixed costs of £200 are given in the information, and this is divided by the £8 contribution per unit which we have just calculated. This gives you an answer of 25. Now it's important to know what this answer of 25 actually represents. When calculating break even using this formula, the answer always represents how many units it actually takes to break even. If you wanted to know how much sales revenue would be required to break even, you would simply multiply these units by the selling price per unit, which in this case is £10. Therefore, it is 25 units times the £10 selling price per unit, which will provide you with information that the business needs to sell £250 worth of t-shirts to break even. Now we have our break even point, we can now move on to calculating our margin of safety. If a business is producing and selling more than the break even level of output, then a profit is being made and they have what is known as the margin of safety. This is effectively a safety net. The margin of safety is the number of units that the business predicts to sell above their break-even point. The formula to calculate this is sales less the break-even output in units. Now one of the assumptions in break-even analysis is that whatever the business produces, it also sells unless you are told otherwise. This is one of the key limitations with break-even analysis. 
and something you should bear in mind when making investment decisions. So the calculation for margin of safety in this scenario is the 80 units that we're predicting to sell minus the 25 units it takes to break even, meaning your margin of safety is 55 units. This gives a business a leeway of 55 units above and beyond the break even point. Effectively, they could misjudge their sales forecast by 55 units and they would still break even, but any less, so if they sold 56 less than predicted, they would actually be making a loss at the end of their production and sales run. So the higher the margin of safety, the safer the investment is for the business. A common way to see the break even point demonstrated is through a chart which shows key financial information such as the business's fixed costs, their sales revenue and their potential profit. On your screen you will see labels A to G. Pause your screen now and have a go at labeling all seven. Okay, so we're gonna talk through what those labels mean now. So A shows the business's fixed costs. They start at 200 and they do not change regardless of the business's output. B shows the total costs of the business. These are made up of the fixed cost of 200 and as you can see the starting point is 200 and then they rise in direct proportion with their variable cost per unit. C identifies the sales revenue, starting at zero when nothing is sold and then increasing by £10 consistently. Label D is a key reason for this chart, it's the break even point which will always be shown as a cross, the point at which sales and total costs cross paths. E is the area of loss, which is anything under the break even point. F is the area of profit, which is anything above the break even point. And the final key area, labelled G, is our margin of safety, which as we've already calculated is anything above 25 all the way up to 80 units, hence 55 units and you'll see that is perfectly represented on that chart. We're now going to finish with an overview of the strengths and limitations of conducting break-even analysis and the things that a business should consider when making key financial decisions. One of the key strengths is that the calculations are quick and simple aid for financial decision making. Helping the business to assess the level of risk in a potential investment or product launch. Whilst providing them with the margin of safety and the potential profitability of the investment. But crucially, it allows the business to pinpoint the exact amount of units or sales revenue it needs to sell to break even. However, businesses need to be very careful when using break even analysis as it does have its limitations. For example, it is only based on forecasts, within which costs can change over time, which would actually impact the break even point. For example, if costs increased, then so would the break even point. It also assumes that all products that are made are also sold, which is unrealistic in most circumstances. This is why a margin of safety is so important and such a key consideration for your investment decision. A final limitation is for businesses that provide services, as a typical price per service varies drastically and wouldn't provide an accurate break-even point. Thank you for listening, I hope that helps you to understand the break-even point and the factors you should consider when making financial decisions based on break-even analysis. There is a link to a free worksheet to test your knowledge of break-even analysis in the description of this video. And if you found this video useful, remember to hit the like button and subscribe for lots more business studies videos.